it's not just about tolerance for people who live different lifestyles. It's not just about tolerance for people who have different emotional or sexual orientations. It's not about any of that. It's about celebration. The entire society must celebrate. Not only must the entire society celebrate, the entire society must propagandize on behalf of this sort of activity. So for example, I mean, this is insane. Postmates is a company that delivers things to you, right? You order food via Postmates. That was my impression. I was not aware that Postmates was actually a BDSM site teaching you about anal sex. But apparently that is what Postmates is now. So Postmates, in honor of Pride Month, put out a video and a tweet essentially telling people what to eat. I've been informed by my producers that this is what this commercial is about because frankly, I found it somewhat puzzling. Apparently this is about what kinds of food you ought to eat so as not to have messy diarrhea before you engage in anal sex. This is being promoted by Postmates. Postmates was bought by Uber in a $2.65 billion all stock deal back in 2020. This is an enormous American company and it is propagandizing on behalf of anal sex in its marketing. It's a food company. It's a food delivery company. Here is what this this looks like. Ben Shapiro is a dirty booty bottom confirmed. <laughs> Wet ass. First dry P word, now dirty booty. Damn, Ben. I, I just, I don't know. I don't understand you. Um, okay. Obviously, that was conservative commentator Ben Shapiro reacting to a Postmates video where they describe proper hygiene for queer people. Um I don't know how to tell this to Ben and all the other conservatives who are reacting to this right now, but you're just not the target demographic. You don't have to watch this, right? If you choose to not click on that video that Postmates shared, which is very obvious from the beginning, this is not for straight people. I mean, maybe some straight people will find this informative. In fact, I know some straight people will. But if you see that and you just scroll on by, it's okay. It doesn't make you intolerant. You don't have to know about this. It's not for you, right? But uh, they're trying to push this as, well, you have to watch this and love it. Otherwise, you're a bigot. Nobody's saying this. Nobody's actually saying this. If you go to Twitter, which I do not recommend that you do this, and you go to the Postmates account and you click on all of the quote tweets for this video, uh, which I'll play a clip for it if you're curious. We're not going to watch all of it, but um, conservatives are just melting down over this. And again, I've got to just stress this really very clearly isn't for you. You're not the targeted demographic, right? It's an interesting, bold choice from Postmates because usually these companies during Pride will simply change their logos to a rainbow and then be done with it. But Postmates is kind of going above and beyond and arguably too far. Uh, and, and that's me saying this, right? But I'll share my thoughts on this. I just want to address some things that Ben Shapiro said. So he claims uh, it's not just about tolerance for people who live different lifestyles. Now you have to embrace things like this. Except, no, nobody's asking you to embrace this right nobody's asking you to learn every intricate detail about homosexuality or trans people like you don't have to learn this to be tolerant right being tolerant means that you just accept that people exist even if you don't necessarily agree with their quote lifestyle which it's not a lifestyle if you're gay that's who you are it's inextricably linked to your identity right but tolerance means, you know, even if you don't like gay people, you acknowledge that they should be entitled to equal legal rights, equal social equality. They should be free from bigotry. But Ben Shapiro does not maintain this tolerance stance. He quite literally is, by definition, intolerant. Over the weekend, uh, Fox News put out a segment where they talked about a trans family with a trans child. And he melted down, as did a lot of conservatives. And what are we seeing from conservatives across the country? This effort to ban trans people out of existence, ban gender affirming care for children. Matt Walsh, who just released a propaganda piece, an anti-trans propaganda piece, admitted that adults shouldn't be able to transition as well. So, I mean, you're not tolerant. You are quite literally intolerant. If you're actually going to practice tolerance, you acknowledge that there are different people from you and you just let them live, live and let live. But that's not Ben Shapiro. So for him to say this, it's a downright lie, okay? So he also says the entire society must celebrate, the entire society must propagandize on behalf of this sort of activity. No, that's not what they're asking you to do in this video. Nobody is saying, hey, you're a bigot if you don't celebrate homosexual sex. 
nobody's saying that at all. I've never heard a gay person make this claim. Again, I want to emphasize, this was not a video for most straight people. It's not a video for conservatives. It's just a video for gay people. It's it's marketing, right? It's certainly unorthodox marketing. I haven't seen an ad like this targeted for gay people by a non-gay company, but it's not for you, and that's okay. You can you can choose to turn away if you seek out, you know, all of these uh, queer centric things. Then sure, it's going to be foreign to you, but you you don't have to learn about gay sex to be an ally. This reminds me of the scene from The Office where they all found out that a co-worker, Oscar, was gay, and then they started to watch gay porn so they could learn about homosexuality. That's not, that's not what tolerance is, but they're almost like, they're taking it to that parody level where they have to watch this. And it's like, oh my God, look at what they're making me watch. You don't have to watch this, I promise you. You can turn away. It doesn't make you a bigot. Now, as for the ad itself, um, it's not really an ad. It kind of is, but... I'll show you a small clip, just the 30 second clip. Um, basically, the way that I feel about this is I kind of feel mixed. Um, I admittedly kind of had this like visceral response like, oh, why are they doing this? And, and perhaps that's internalized homophobia that I still haven't dealt with myself yet. Um, but part of me just thinks, man, they're putting this out and it's just bait for conservatives. We're going to hear about this now for a month. There are better ways to be an ally, right? That's my initial thought. But then as I thought through this, it's like, actually, this is a resource that's kind of a necessity because we live in a heteronormative society and queer people aren't taught sex ed. So I think that good hygiene, uh, learning about sex, safe sex, things like this, it's necessary for gay people. And certainly I don't really feel comfortable with multinational corporations or large corporations filling that void. You know, uh, but at the same time, it, it's it's still important. And, you know, it's it's explicit. Right. But I mean, is it more in your face than heterosexuality? No, because we see straight sex everywhere. So it's not like queer people are required to hide sex away from the straights to protect their fifis because that's also pretty fucked up and that kind of contributes to this heteronormative society, right? Uh, but I mean, straight sex is everywhere, even where it shouldn't be. Uh, I watched the Halo show on Paramount+, Plus. big fan of the games, and Master Chief in this game, the main character, was never in a relationship, but yet they found some way to make him get laid in this show, straight sex. It's like, goddamn, this shit is in my fucking face. I'm having the opposite, you know, Ben Shapiro reaction where it's like, this is what they want us to tolerate. You know, raise my high-pitched voice and start talking faster. No, but I mean, like, you see straight sex everywhere. So, I mean, if you see, you know, gay sex uh, once in a while talked about in this way, I just don't know what to say. If you don't want to see it, you don't, you don't have to watch it. But for those who do want to see it, who are curious, here's the snippet of the advertisement. If you want to even call it an ad, but this is what Postmates put out. Soluble fibers and protein are the key to having some good, clean fun. These all digest easily and slowly while feeding your good gut bacteria, which makes sushi a great bottom-friendly option. There's no right or wrong way to bottom, but if you're planning on getting peachy this pride, the bottom-friendly menu on Postmates has the kinds of foods that can keep you feeling good. Are you organic? Mm -hmm. Look, I just wish that I could see Ben Shapiro's face as he's watching this. Apparently, he watched it on the program. This was a clip shared by uh, Jason Campbell. So I don't know if he watched it. If he did like a second-by-second -second replay as he did with WAP, I'm going to find it and I'm going to react to that. Uh, but, you know, it, 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 let's let's go to the um, explanation here for this. This is by Out. Today, popular food delivery app Postmates is announcing its first ever bottom friendly menu in partnership with restaurants such as H2O Sushi and Izakaya, Prince Street Pizza, Dialogue Cafe, Beatnik and others. This campaign will mostly focus on restaurants located in Los Angeles and New York City. This fun initiative in the Postmates app was conceptualized by a team of LGBTQ plus employees within the company. Moreover, the food delivery service is making a donation to the Okra Project, which is a mutual aid collective that provides meals and support to black, trans, non-binary, and gender non-conforming people. So overall, that's good. If this is, you know, going to lead to, you know, donations, great. Um, you know, it's just one of those things where if you are a straight person, 
Um, I promise you, this doesn't make you a bigot. You're not a bad ally if you don't watch things like this. You're not the target demographic. But unfortunately, we live in the society where, you know, conservatives will try to find examples of bad gay people. They'll find examples of like gay people being, you know, overly promiscuous or twerking or something like that. And, you know, to put this out, I, I think that conservatives will use this for their bigoted agenda, but reactionaries will always do that. They'll say, see, gays are just about sex and promiscuous, and that's their whole o existence. But that's going to happen regardless. The fact is that these types of resources should exist. Should it come from corporations? Mm, no, don't really feel comfortable with that. Um, they should be available for gay people if they need them. But, you know, if you are a straight person and this comes across your timeline and you don't want to watch it, just look away. I mean, if you're curious, fine. But you don't you don't have to watch this is what I really just want to stress. Once again, conservatives, you don't have to watch this. I mean, if you're trying to find reasons to be outraged or disgusted. I mean, there's no shortage on the Internet. But if you're going to watch this, then I've just got to warn you. If you don't like gay people, you're not going to like this. And I kind of feel like that should be obvious. But we're in this time where conservatives are trying to find every single outrage bait that they can use to gin up homophobia. And I, I worry that this is going to do just that. Um, so, yeah, again, kind of feel mixed about this video that Postmates put out itself just because I know the way that conservatives will use this. But at the same time, you know, just don't watch it. I mean, Jesus Christ, is it really that difficult? Wet, 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 wet,